What's up guys? I'm Jesse Jane and you better be watching Jeff Bowski on YouTube. Thanks guys for all the retweets. 281 total. I put 281 into a random number generator and it spit out the number three. The third retweet from the get-go is the winner of the 10% of my Planet Hollywood 600 first bullet. The player is Pocket Maces, M-A-C-E-S. Congratulations, Pocket Maces. I will get in contact with you. Let's hope we only need this one bullet. Win, $600, 250K guaranteed. We made day two. We're fifth in chips with 265,000. 65 players remain. Let's win. Four hundred and fifty thousand. Thirty six people remain. Doing very well, but facing a lot of resistance from people that have openly said they view the blog and clearly know how aggressive I am, so they've been ripping twenty eight blinds on me and shit. King Jack. It's okay. Setting them up for the long run. We got plenty of ammo and a great structure. What's up guys? Jeff Boski here. We're in the money, we're deep in this. $600 win, 300K guaranteed. The player that has been going out of his way to three bet me and play pots with me has given me permission to use his name and or likeness in my vlog since he asked if he would be featured in the vlog after he three bet me and I folded. I told him that's not a substantial enough hand. So here we are. It folds to us in the cutoff. We have King Jack of Clubs. We raise it up, 18,000 to go. Ben Zamani Jr. is in the small blind, and of course, he makes it 59,000 to go off of a 420,000 stack. Folds to us. Uh, I feel folding would be a little bit too tight. We are in position, and we're pretty deep. Calling probably the right play and four bet going with it is just a little bit too loose even for me so we call two to the flop the flop comes king eight deuce two hearts he c bets fifty four thousand against most players i'm just going to put in the smooth call here and play future streets but we want to protect our hand against Hearts coming, ace is coming, his mid pairs hitting their two outer, and more importantly, if we're just going to call down all three, it's better to get it in now while, while the getting's good and induce a spew. We have a great stack size where we could be raising as a bluff just to finally beat him in a pot. So I tank, feign weakness. Make it 140,000. He thinks for about 10 seconds and says, I'm all in. We have him covered by 40,000. If I call, we have a 900,000 chip pot. He could have aces, ace king, king queen, pocket eights. These, all these hands beat us. But we got to stick with the plan. Our plan was to raise, to induce a spew, and we're just going to hope he is spewing. We take a few minutes, really analyze his body language. He doesn't look very confident. Looks a little scared, and that looks great for our plan. So we make the call. He reveals ace Queen, offsuit. We're way ahead. 
Let's hold. The turn is a four. The river is a seven. We hold. He's eliminated. We win a 900,000 chip pot, and we're chip leader of the tournament with about 35 people to go. I know it was coming, you know, like all the time you guys were yeah, I'm calling up two racks. I hear you strike at that. Okay. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I better move over. You're not enough room for this floor. Yeah, he's calling me out. <laughs> I'm like, if you raise your You have two pinks on the bottom one. What the fuck are you raise for? You have two pinks on that orange corner stack. Just wanted to get a little feel for... Yeah, I understand, but I... With blinds at 6,000, 12,000, we have 1.3 million in the hijack. We look down at nine, six of clubs. We make it 28,000 to go. Folds to the big blind, who has 430,000 to start the hand. He makes the call and we're off to see a flop. The flop is nine, eight, three, two spades, one club. Great flop for us. He checks. We see bet 40,000 for value. He tanks for a few minutes, rapidly shuffling his chips. He shoves all in. 300,000 chips. What does he have? Jack 10? Ace 8? King 9? Flush draw? Straight draw? A lot of different hands could be shoving on this board. The big shove looks pretty weak to me. Although we do have a bad kicker with our top pair, it's top pair nevertheless in a heads up pot versus big blind defending range. We have them covered. We got top pair. We didn't see bet to fold. We call. We do have backdoor clubs just in case we beat. He reveals pocket jacks. Pocket jacks. Didn't see that coming, but we still got outs. The turn is a four, and the river is a seven. Top pair no good. Pocket jacks hold. Eight hundred and fifty thousand going to sixteen thousand big blind. Seventeen people remain. Just lost a big one. But that's okay. Can't win them all. Let's come back strong. With blinds at 8,000, 16,000, we have 1.5 million chips. Folds to us in the cutoff. We have Queen 10 offsuit, so we raise it up to 35,000. Folds to the big blind, who has a 275,000 stack. He makes the call. The flop comes. 10, 8, 5. He checks. We bet 45,000 for value with top pair. He shoves all in. We snap call. He shows Jack 9 offsuit for open-ended with an overcard. The turn is a deuce, and the river is a seven. He makes it straight, and we lose a pot over 500,000 chips. Guys, can I get uh, IDs and red cards, please? Hi. All IDs and red cards, please. All right, so we're still, we got a little five minutes left for this level. 3, 10, and 20. We're gonna play one more level. I heard something, but I wasn't sure. Yep, you were asking about the screen tower, uh -huh. Yep, 21 books.
with blinds at 20,000, 40,000, were six handed at the final table. Action folds to the cutoff, who opens for 85,000. He's a loose opener. The button flat calls. We're in the small blind and we look down at ace, jack, offsuit. With 880,000, that's 22 blinds. I feel it's a pretty easy shove. Both of their ranges are pretty capped and we got a good hand and there's a lot of dead money out there to pick up with the 5k ante. People are sweating pay jumps. Both of the players in the pot do have me covered, but we're in fifth place out of six chip wise. We shove all in for 880,000 chips. The big blind folds, the cutoff loose opener folds, and the button asks for a count. At this point, I'm putting him on a hand like a mid pair, maybe a suited Broadway of some sort. After 20, 30 seconds, he makes the call. We show our ace jack and he shows ace queen. The flop comes 10, 10, seven. The turn is a four and the river is a three. We are out in sixth place, just over $11,000. And we're out, sixth place, $11,200. Hell of a run, a good game.